Hi everybody, Steffi here from The Makers and I'm going to show you some really helpful tips and techniques on how to make a wire frame for this um, frog. So you can see his feet are um, pretty realistic um, and um, the, the whole sort of construction of that frame um, is what I'm going to show you. So there won't be any needle felting, but uh, there will be lots of uh, wire work with uh, florist tape, your favorites. And um, of course, this is the project in our November box, um, the frog for our subscription box, the maker's box. So if you are a subscriber, then you will get that video um, for free um, with your box subscription. Right, so um, first of all, in your box uh, you have got um, I'm going to go to the overhead camera straight away you in your box you have four of these thinner wires they definitely um, feel quite bendy and uh, you also have and now I need to get the others out of the box because I left them in there that was not very clever you also have um, some thicker wires um, which oh there's um three of them okay so you have got the way to dif differentiate them is a by uh, this is much thinner this this one here and um, this is much thicker and you've got four of the thinner and three of the thicker so that is the, a good way of finding out which one are which so I want you to put away the thicker wire for now altogether put it away out of the way now you have to cut your each of your thinner wires, so you've got four of these, you have to cut it into four equal lengths and because um, um, of the length of the wire that means that you are going to have um, nine centimeter long wires. Now you have got uh, the tape measure here on the side of the instructions if you are a subscriber. So measure, the way that I've done it is I measure nine, nine centimeters from here to there and I'm just going to bend that in and use that as my template for the rest. So if, if one leg is a, a few millimeters longer or shorter, it's not the end of the world. And then just cut the bends open. So now I've got four wire lengths um, that are the same, the same length. And you do this with all four wires. So you end up with 16 um, shorter wire lengths and um, what you need to do with every single one of these you're going to have to wrap this now with florist tape in the following way so I would take off about I don't know about that much florist tape you you get this in your box so that's the thinner florist tape that we often use for bird legs as well wrapping them and um, you might find a really good way of doing this. Um, I've tried now several several different ones, and um, there's, there's, there's I try I tend to do it different every time. What you've got to remember is that florist tape only works um, as in it becomes sticky when you pull it. So as soon as you stretch it, that uh, becomes sticky and it only sticks to itself. So the way that I do it, I I hold it um, so that I've got just my fingers on a bit of that tape and actually double it up but because I'm doubling it up and it sort of sticks to itself and I'm holding my fingers on the edge of the tape I can now um, start wrapping it flat like a ribbon so at the moment it um, it's just wrapping towards the end of one wire and then when you have the end covered you're going to bend this in by about one centimeter the good news is we only have to cover one end of the wire, not the other end. But now we have to cover the bent part. So keep that uh, florist tape flat like a ribbon and try and uh, pull it with every wrap you do so that you stretch it and therefore it will um, stick. Always make sure that the tape overlaps and when you've got a bit of a advantage here, then I find it easiest just to use the tape and let it slide through your fingers whilst you're twisting the um, the remainder of the wire and just letting it sort of wrap itself up like that. Now you can add another layer over the top, depends how sturdy you want the frog, leg, frog legs to be, but what all I will say is, it's not the legs actually, it's the toes, all I will say is if you're adding another layer, make sure you go back to, into the position that you started out I'm going to do the same again. I overlay the, layer, the wire, uh, the tape a little bit, wrap it around, 
so that I get a good um, establishment here. Then twist it and let the tape grip into itself going to the end. Now if you've got a bit of white wire sticking out at the end, it doesn't matter too much. Um, if you've got about one centimeter sticking out, that's absolutely fine. So that's one toe done. Three more to go on this particular leg and the others I've worked ahead so that um, <laughs> it's like watching paint dry otherwise. Right, let's start this again. So put the florist tape around it. I've got a manageable length here. And now I'm holding my finger so that it doesn't twist as I'm wrapping it. Um, on the other hand, it also can come off. Didn't hold on to it enough. Just hold my finger in that place. I'm wrapping the uh, florist tape around the end, trying to make it um, stick to itself. Once I've covered the end, I bend it in by about one centimeter, and then I'm going to go over the bend and turn the whole thing round and now I twist the, the wire so that the florist tape gets um, guided through my fingers. It makes your fingers very sticky. If you're not a fan of sticky fingers, you won't like this. Um, if you're not a fan of florist tape, you will definitely not like it. I'm going to put um, a bit of purple felt underneath it because I feel that you might be able to see that better. So I've got, I'm just going to add another layer on there. So the mistakes that can easily be made is that you work with too much tape, that you um, don't understand how florid tape, florist tape works. It really does only stick when you pull it. So I'm, I'm wrapping this with, a, um, with a, quite a lot of tension. I've got a bit of white wire showing here that I didn't catch earlier, so I definitely have to give it another layer. Maybe start at that end. So wrap it around. It's well worth it. So try and persevere um, because it is definitely worth it. And what we've learned about florist tape, if you've done any of the other projects with us, is also that if the florist tape is not obliging, you can also cover it with a little bit of glue and let it let it um, dry. And then the, the glue will make sure the florist tape gets stuck to where you want it to be. Right, that's number one. Number two. And I'm going to show you this two more times. Okay, manageable length of tape. Starting the wire off by, at the end of the wire, overlapping my tape. So there's a little bit of, a, of an overlap here. Holding onto the tape, um, giving it already so a bit of a stretch, so ready to get it to stick. Wrapping it, even if it looks a bit messy, just tightly wrap over it. Remember, this is the part that we bend in. So um, then bend it in about one centimeter down and continue wrapping that bent part so that it looks like more like a bit of a knobbly bit, literally the tip of the toe. Then switch it round, twist the wire and let the florist tape um, slide through your fingers. Make sure that if you go over it, that will also sort of your warm, the warmth of your fingers will make that tape a lot more adhesive and my fingers are a bit sticky it's not the nicest feeling but um, if you can bear it keep persevering it makes your hands very warm so do this again add another layer get the tape established first before you switch it round and then um, get the tape the second layer onto that wire there and if you've got a bit of white left at the end that's absolutely fine we're not bending that end, we're only bending one end. Right, third one, and that's the final one that I'm going to demo on and the others I've prepared. So, last one, so I bend it. There, might, there will be other ways of how you can do it. If you have another way, um, go for it. So I have the tape, just go that way around slightly the the only the way that I stop it from slipping is because I'm pinching it with my fingernails um, so it is it's forced to stay in place and then I'm going around around it once I've covered the end bend it in by about one centimeter then cover the bend as well and then turn it round and let the florist tape slide through my fingers whilst it's wrapping the wire and then one more 
layer. You, you might be happy with just one layer. You will have lots of this florist tape left over for um, future projects. And um, it does work really well with covering um, bird legs up, our bird legs, the black ones or the white ones, um, to give them a more natural color. Right, that's the last leg, um, I should say toe. These are toes, they're not legs. So um, I have now made four. So four toes out of one length of wire, the thinner wire, and you've got four wires, which makes 16 toes, which makes four legs. Okay, so now the next thing is you have to um, put them together in a certain order. And, um, and that is because... Um, Frogs have got different length toes at the front and different length toes at the back. So these are the wired toes and the, the wrapped toes, but now they need to be put in, in that, um, they need to be aligned in that different length. In the instructions, it tells you very clearly how to do that. So I'm referring to it as well, just to remind myself. And it's literally straight away on in box one and two. So four. Um, for each foot you need four of these lengths and um, let's start with the easier one. The easier one is the front leg because you need the toe, toe one and two at two centimeters and toe um, three and four at three centimeters which basically means um, for, for them to be joined together you now have to take out the slightly stiffer wire that you've got and cut that in half. So two of the stiffer wires will be to secure the toes. Sorry, I'm using my scissors still. If you have wire cutters, use them. It's a little bit stiffer, this wire. Um, so two halves will secure two sets of toes. So therefore you need two of that thicker wire, cut in half, makes four, makes for four legs, and one uh, longer length you keep to one side um, until later, right? So we know that um, the first two toes need to be at one centimeter. So take your tape measure and measure one centimeter and then just hold your fingers there where the two centimeters are. And then you also know that um, the uh, toes three and four need to be three centimeters. So measure that as well and then hold your finger there. So now you've got um, where my finger is, is um, from where I'm measuring. I think this works better now without the purple. So you can see this is two centimeters. These are three centimeters to one and two, two centimeters to three and four, three centimeters. And now I'm going to wrap them, mark, mark it where, the, where they're going to stay. So my wire goes around that and the rest of the wire gets wound around the remainder of the toes. It, the, the pictures are very small, so I do apologize about that. Um, when, when you look at the frog, all you will see is are these toe bits sticking out, So um, which is what I've done here. And, and we're going to uh, go a little bit further down with the wool as well. So how neat or tidy this part looks is irrelevant. It's completely um, irrelevant. However, if you do have a pair of pliers, you can squeeze the shut just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere, but make sure that you don't put the toes out of order. So that's the only thing I will say about that. Tuck any of the sharp wires in. All of this will be wrapped with wool when you make the flock, but for now this is what it looks like. So. This is uh, going to be the front, one of the front legs, and I have made another front leg already. So um, these are now the front legs with the longer toes on the outside and the shorter toes on the inside, or is it the other way around? I can't remember. We'll find that out in a minute. Let's just um, make sure that you have got two sets of legs that look like this, okay? They're going to the front, whether whether they're that way around or that way around, I need to double check that, right. Now the hind um, legs, they're, they have a different length of toes. So get your set of toes that you've made and then read in box three, that's the first one, the, the first toe is at four centimeters and so is the 
um, the first and the third toe are the same length. So measure the three centimeters. Sorry, I'm going out of the picture here. So there are, sorry, they're at four centimeters. Me measure the four centimeters, one and two. But that is to one and three. So they're four centimeters long, to one and three. And now you need the, the, uh, the toe in the middle, which is the toe two, needs to be two centimeters long. So you're going to measure that two centimeters and then you're going to insert that so that it's two centimeters. It really doesn't matter if it's a millimeter or even a few millimeters off, okay? It's absolutely fine. And then the last toe, toe four, needs to be three centimeters. So maybe maybe have have um, your tape measure at the in the right place so you can literally just um yeah at, at, um put it together. So this is the order. One and three are um four centimeters long. Toe two is only um toe two in the middle is five centimeters. Oh my goodness I've got that completely wrong. Okay start again. Toe one and three is four centimeters. Double check. To one and to one and three are let's take this out again. Apologies, I've got my numbers crossed. Four centimeters, right. The middle toe, toe two, this is where I got confused, is five centimeters. So um, a five centimeter long toe needs to be inserted in the middle. So it's literally one centimeter longer. And then the third. Um, the, the fourth toe is three centimeters long. Okay, it's probably um, really good to just look at the uh, instructions. But this is the order now. So um, one and three, same length, middle toe longer, last toe shorter. And again, you need to fasten the um, half the wire around that. And trying to keep the order of the toes so that they are um, not getting switched around. It's it's definitely worth um, doing this hard part of the work, um, which can be confusing um, if you if you're not looking at the instructions. Um, so there's one a bit that I found confusing reading back my own instructions is that um, it is really important that those three stiffer wires that you only cut two in half not all three the third one we want to use as a full length so now you've made um two front uh, toes and i have uh, worked ahead again and i've made another set of um the hind the hind um legs so you've got it's almost like little brooms you've got the two front toes you've got the two hind toes um on on their legs here obviously and now we need to put it all together so for this you um you will end um you should end up with about four legs now from the ankle to the end of the that should be about 16 centimeters some of them of mine are some of them are slightly shorter like this one is but the others are a bit shorter it doesn't matter um so you're covering the remaining of the of the wire now with a florist um, tape. So all these bent um, wire bits in the middle, they will literally disappear. This time it should be a bit easier to um, stick the florist tape on because you've got more of a um, thickness of a wire to get hold of. So wrap these um, again, once it's covered, and remember that the wool will extend the toes, so don't worry if um, if it looks a bit messy at this point. Um, but you can also do the same trick as you did before, just twist the wire and let the florist tape grip in. And this is, this is really what uh, the florist tape um, is used for in floristry, is to sort of cover up um, a whole um all kinds of things underneath it again make sure that you remember the order of the toes because they can sometimes get a little bit put out of place so cover the whole of the wire in florist tape and i've got to do this three more times now 
always start at um, the same um, position that you started before. So basically what you do is you always wrap the wire in the same direction under um, that you've wrapped it underneath. So it goes in the same direction. Again, if you don't get all the way to the end, then don't worry too much about it because a lot of this will just literally disappear. It is also um, to help you wrap wool around it later more easily so the wool doesn't slip. Right, next one. Um, once you've got the technique um, under your hat, it, it really, really is a, a really good wireframe for making toads and frogs in the future. So if you like to make them um, more anatomically correct, then really, really get to grips with this technique. And I know that um, many of you struggle with florist tape, um, but the more you use it, the more you get practice, the more you get used to it. There's no easy way around it. Right, nearly there. I used to love frogs when I was, well, I still love them now. But when I was um, a child, it was um, sort of a, quite an obsession. <laughs> if, I, if I could, if I knew there were frogs living there, I would just sit there all day waiting for them, just on the chance of catching one and just holding it for a few seconds in my hand. Love them. Right. All the way, all the way, all the way. And on the picture, it shows you that the wire is covered completely, but I'm not going to do that. It's not it's not really necessary just get the get these messy bits covered and then go a little bit beyond so that you've got a neat a neater set of legs and um, if, if some of the wire is sticking out like this one does just take pliers if you've got any and um, and squash it down and here we go all of this, with the exception of the toes, will be covered in wool. You won't see any of this, okay? So my legs are still here. I've got to um, put them into order a little bit again in a minute. But basically what you're doing now is you're going to arrange your um, front legs. So the, uh, the toes um, need to face out of the longer toes. That's, that's your front legs. The hind legs is what we're going to use next. So they um, need to... Um, be arranged so that the little toe is um, facing in like that and facing in like that as well. So that's how they go. So now you need to measure from here um, because you need to the, um, the front legs three centimeters from the, um, sorry, uh, the hind legs five centimeters from the ankle, which is here, to where you bend it. And then the front legs is three centimeters. So if you want to lay it out as it is on the, on the picture, um, have your legs laid out like this, because they obviously these will be pointing back and these will be pointing forward. And then bend um, the uh, front leg in from three centimeters from here to the bend. So you need to measure that again. And bend that up like this. That's my front leg. And then you do the same with um, the other one, three centimeters from the ankle to where the bend. So the ankle is where the, where the toys, toes join and bend that in as well. So now you've got this contraption here. Okay, and then the hind legs you have to measure it from this from this part here to um, where you bend it, which is five centimeters. So just measuring that now, and that's about here. Bend that in, and then you do the same here on the second and final leg, and bend that down as well. So you can see now if you look at the frog. Um, these legs will stay pointed that way, or the feet. These are going back at the moment, but eventually they go forward again. But for now, that's how they will stay. Now you've got your last wire, and you've got one more time to work with the florist tape. You're going to have to cover that whole length in florist tape, okay? So use the um, 
florist tape and cover it in in it basically on the picture in the on the instruction I actually covered this with orange florence um, florist tape just to make sure that you can see the difference so um, hopefully I don't need to do that here right get that covered just so that it's got the sticky sticky florist tape on it just getting it twisting it letting the florist tape grip into it and and then um, I'm actually turning to I'm not staying on this last box of the second page I'm turning over to the third page but first of all you need to cover continue covering this now I'm coming to the end of the florist tape in my hand so I'm going to turn this round again because I, I need to start to add more florist tape but I want to do it in the direction as I started out and I started out this way so I want to start in exactly the same way. So I'm going like that over. And then once you've got it established, then you can turn it around again and you can um, do the twisting of the wire and let the tape slide through your fingers. And whilst whilst I'm twisting the wire, I'm also like giving it quite a quite a squeeze because that um, uh, makes the florist tape stick as well and it's just unwound itself a bit if that happens then just to con twist you know which way it's going just get this covered here first if it if it looks messy this wire don't worry too much about it if it's really really bothering you covering this with florist tape then just don't do it right here we go I'm just going to leave that like that. Okay, so you're going to uh, move the front legs out of the way for the minute, and you're going to have to fasten the um, hind legs together first. So you are going to um, you're going to first of all the front le uh, the hind legs five centimeter from the ankle ankle which we've done and then cross the leg at four at the four centimeter mark from the bend along the longer wire so now you need to measure from the bend here four centimeters down along the longer wire I'm just going to do that now which is about here um, you could mark this with a pen if you wanted to only because you're going to have to cross the wire there so I'm just going to mark that here with a pink pen and I'll measure that at four centimeters and mark that here as well. So this is where the wires are crossing here at the pink mark where I've marked it. And, um, and if you go then to the first box in, um, on the page three, what you need to do now is you need to bend the wire that you've covered with florist tape into half and it inserts into this area here. Now you can twist the wire shut a bit. So where I've marked it here, I'm just going to give it a twist because now I know this is where the four centimeter mark is, okay? And now you're inserting that wire so it sits inside that fork here that you've just twisted shut. Okay, so that that is now joining the hind legs definitely together. And now you're going to twist, and you can bend the legs out of the way a bit. Now you're going to twist these this um, covered wire by about six centimeters around itself. Six centimeters. This is now making the body of the of the frog. Okay, so give it a good twist and measure it. That's about six centimeters there. That was a lucky guess. It probably um, works best if you have that exact um, wire here at the end because they will eventually fold forward and uh, create these ridges on the frog which um, are quite sturdy so if you have if you have that um, at 16 centimeter that would probably make um, much more sense okay so now you've got the middle uh, wire 
going up and now you have to do the same with the front legs. So the front legs, let's remind ourselves, they are um, bend in at three centimeters from the angle, ankle and then also they cross over at three centimeters from the bent part to um, where, they, where they cross over. So I'm just going to measure that, which is about here. So you can twist this shut a couple of times as well because what you're going to do now is um, you're now going to um, insert that wire same way as you've done with the hind legs but this time you're bending that whole body wire around the frog so that it goes back in itself and the best way what you can do is is to bend the legs out of you know that they have to be bent at the at the elbow like that but um, bend the legs out of the way so that you can wrap this wire around the middle even more so you're strengthening the body even more now this is the wire that um, on the instructions is is covered in in orange florist tape and if there's um, if you've got too much of it, you can cut it off. But I'm telling you what I'm going to do now because I've shortchanged one of the the leg the leg wires at the back. I'm actually going to use it to extend one of the wires at the back. I'm going to be naughty. So if you've got too much wire, just cut it off. But what I'm doing is I'm actually using it as the ridge wire that goes over the back because I've I've shortchanged my legs a little bit. I must have bent in. Um, the wire too much when I when I um, joined the, the toes together. So at this point it's quite loose here and I'm going to use my pliers now to, to make that a little bit more sturdy because I, I don't want it to jiggle and wriggle around so I'm just squeezing it shut and the whole contraption looks like this now. So you've got your frog legs sprawled out at the back, you've got the front legs forward, these two wires here at the back will become, they will be bent over the frog to become the back ridge, so if you, um, and th these are the first ones that we're going to cover with wool, and um, the um, this part here becomes the head, so um, not all of it, but you will be, um, let's do it, got the wool here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cover the um, and, and bend the legs out of the way. They are now secure. You're going to cover these um, two wires here. Eat that, that should be just one wire what I'm twisting here. You're going to cover that with green wool. My fingers are extremely sticky from the um, florist tape so if, if that happens to you maybe you want to just wash them. Cover with a green wool, no felting, just pull it tight. The florist tape underneath it um, is, is willing to hold on to the wool now. So just neaten that up and just add a little bit more on the other side. There. So it looks kind of weird that he's got two little um, horns sticking out at the back at the moment that fastened on. Don't need to needle felt this at all. It will just sort of stay on. So um, if you get a little bit worried about the shape of it, just put it back into that position again. Just tightening that florist tape a little bit. That's um, come loose. There. Whatever happens here around the center and the top of the legs, um, if it looks messy, don't worry. This is important. These bits are important. That's the only important bit is the toes that they look that they look um, neat. And now you're going to use the lanolin rich core wool. If your fingers weren't sticky enough, they get even more sticky. And you're going to wrap the the um, these these wires with the wool. You can actually twist them in a little bit if you want. That's not in the instructions. I'm just saying. And we want six centimeters length. So just measuring that again from here to there is almost the entire length. So it shortens if you twist it. You want to wrap this up 
with the lanolin rich core wool but you also want to make sure that you don't have sharp ends pointing out so get to the top and then bend the wire in so that you literally just have got six centimeters of wrapped um, wire end here with no sharp ends at the other end they're bent in and the bend is covered and um, that is basically how far I want to take this because from now on after this and by the way this is my all-time favorite picture I love that and that one because what you're doing from now on you're literally just adding um, more bulk to the body using the lanolin rich core um, you will have to bend the, the legs out of um, out of the way to build up um, the, the head which becomes more tapered so you've got a, a much more shorter snout and um, and then you build up the, the middle um, of it as well and when the middle is built up enough what you will do is you're going to fold these green covered um, wire ends over the body so that they become you know when you've have you seen a frog before they've got these really sort of bony backs and um, and that is basically what you're doing by bending those back over like that to form the ridge on the back of the frog and um, obviously they won't be like this they will look they will be more covered um, with there will be more wool underneath it and then and the, then you go over the top and cover the whole thing up but that's basically it that you've broken the back of it literally <laughs> once you've got as far as this you'll be um you'll be flying so once you persevere through the florist tape and um, covering these individual toes and getting the length right then um you have um you've done it you've done good so this is what my frog looks like at the moment um very scary but eventually these these will be pulled forward as well when you've covered it with wool so that you've basically got um a frog like in the right position with the legs pointing forward like this gosh okay i'm sure you can do it i know you can do it i know you're all really really determined to get these um more technically challenging parts of the makers boxes done but um it, this is all in response to some people who have said they wanted more technical um challenges and here you've got them so um hopefully this will all work for you and um let us know if you need any help always come to the everyone a maker facebook group we're always happy to help you there um, with any questions and queries you've got and from experience um other people will have probably done theirs by then and um, have lots of advice to offer too so stick with it and um share your results with that really looking forward to it thank you See you next time. Bye.